Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> Let's get ready for Stig Up! Sorry, been watching way too much wrestling stuff lately, so the DX and the New Age Outlaws uh, intro is a little in my head. So, wrestling, hockey, they're in the same realm, right? Tabletop hockey, though, is where it's at. The last series we played between the St. Louis Blues and the Boston Bruins was... Uh, a little sloppy at first, let's say, what with James being off for the month and a half or whatever with his broken wrist. Uh, we were a little rusty to start off, but I thought the series, despite only going five games, thankfully in favor of St. Louis and not the douchebags of Boston, um, I thought it had some interesting games, even though it was only a five-game series. Uh, that, that second game, I think it was when I ripped a shot that went all the way around the rink and into my own net, and James ended up winning one nothing. <laughs> that was notable. That was very notable. Uh, but yeah, especially as <clears throat> the uh, the pace picked up near the end, um, I thought there were some some more entertaining games than uh, definitely the first uh, couple were. So, But uh, hopefully we've got the, the rust out of our system. We're back up and running, and we've got another series coming your way. And this one, this one's pretty cool because it's, uh, it's from the 80s, and it's kind of um, a passing of the torch type moment let's say uh between these two teams so before i leave you uh hanging in suspense for any longer let's uh let's just get to the introduction shall we our 10th stiga stanley cup rewind series features a couple of dynasties a couple of juggernauts yes folks it's the edmonton oilers versus the new york islanders these teams would meet twice in the stanley cup finals in back-to-back -back seasons in 1983 and 1984 the Islanders would win the Stanley Cup in 1983, where Edmonton would return the favor in 1984. The notable thing about these two Stanley Cup series is that it was a passing of the torch kind of moment. The Islanders' Cup victory in 1983 was the last of their four Stanley Cups in a row, completing that dynasty, whereas for Edmonton, their first Stanley Cup victory in 1984 was the first of five over seven years, the first four coming with Wayne Gretzky serving as their captain. It didn't get much better than these two teams in 1980s hockey, that's for sure. All right, Stigaites, game one between these two dynasty teams from the 80s. I am Edmonton. James E is the Islanders. Let's go, bro. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, big turnover, big goal. Wayne, the Wayne train. Bro. Three, two, one. Go. That's in real life. Plus, like, I won like two or three. Oh, Wayne's got two. Wayne's got two. <laughs> three, two, one. Go.
Ah. You gave it right to me, bro. You gave it right to me. I didn't even touch that. I was trying yeah, to you bro. Did. You bro, that I didn't move it. Bro. Three, two, one, go. Saved by Grant. Oh, I shot right at you. Bro. That was all fewer. No! Oh! Three, one. Grabbed the wrong purse. Yeah, you grabbed the wrong rod, bro. Happens, bro. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Don't need bad. the timer 3-1 Edmonton takes the first game of the series James has rage in his eyes meow